let us die in the streets, it's gonna be a problem, we don't see tomorrow, all this fucking killing from the fucking police, they keep shooting the scholars, and selling narcotics, and jailing the prophets, this shit is so deep, I'm gonna make you a promise, I'm gonna keep it Masonic, hollow earth is my knowledge, why they war in the east, see the prophecy got us, and the earth getting hotter, from the quakes getting harder, feel a shake on your feet, you can't save your mama from the grave that's calling And them angels falling, people dying in their sleep You can play survival, but if it ain't in the Bible What the hell did you die for if it ain't for peace? I'd rather die young trying to slay the beast And you only die once, bitch, y'all yeah, remember me? Yeah, yeah. only you can sing this song Mason Night 3D3, you watching a million hits 2019, the summer of 2019. We're, yeah, so basically we're we at a second high speed chase this week. Uh, the last one ended on Gage, not too far from here earlier, uh, where a male Hispanic was in a work truck. And ironically enough, you know what I'm saying, he was able to avoid police for about 30 minutes. My understanding, uh, there was domestic violence incident that occurred in this particular chase in which uh you know he was later singled out and came back in another vehicle to the residence and then from my understanding on that particular chase he was caught there on slawson and uh figueroa where it ended uh multiple car crashes during the chase hit about five or six vehicles Really no injuries, but at the end of the day, it was very intense chase because police had their guns out and they wasn't sure if he was armed at one time. Ended up popping off four tires. It sort of went into an issue of, uh, you know, I guess, wait for him to give up. So eventually they took him into custody, but then now this happened today, uh, which is three days after that chase, where uh, LAPD 77 again, was um i guess in the area of vermont uh not too far from here in 71st street in which they got behind this truck behind me and a uh, short chase ensued down gauge and uh in which he wrecked at this corner and basically was taken into custody without further ado so from my understanding uh there was a female in the car that was questioned uh, and pretty sure either she knew the car was stolen or wasn't stolen but anyhow uh, when I got here there was an African American male suffered from multiple gunshot wounds witnesses said here they heard five or more shots not sure the vehicle leaving the scene possibly silver SUV or sedan um, and unknown right now if this person is alive or dead because obviously they transported them in very serious condition and we waiting to see uh, the extent of his injuries and if he can make it out of surgery. Um, and I was able to come back here and verify his condition because at the time he got shot, he was in surgery and a uh, few people was praying for him. I haven't met his immediate family, but at this particular time, there's an issue of black and brown in this area. So just want to put out there, uh, you know, you got the Nipsey Hustle uh, birthday celebration coming up which is actually put out there in the community that all these gangs all different civil rights leaders need to come together and to kind of insert black and brown into this equation we definitely gotta you know invite them to the table because you can't be sneaking you know working for the other side if you with the cause of both black and brown you definitely got to get on the race issues that they're having over here and over there if you know what I mean so Definitely gone and never forgotten for this young brother who lost his life the other day. 
to a hate crime, you know, that's what we calling it. And we appealing to the community to get out here and basically let it be known that we ain't gonna tolerate an issue of black and brown. And uh, do wanna say that, you know, in most parts, uh, South LA is getting ready for August the 15th, uh, Nipsey Hussle's birthday. And since then, I guess LAPD has been doing some, uh, you know, zero tolerance type of patrols in uh, both 77th and Southwest area. Sport Mason I-3-3, we are at the Marathon store where a fence has been put around the uh, parking lot of the Marathon. Unknown why they put a fence up. But hoping that the family did this, but um, seriously don't know at this point. There is a sign on here in case you want to call and get the information on how long this fence is going to be put up, whether or not the city is doing it or basically, you know, the family. Today, a coalition of Nipsey Hussle's fans are here to commemorate his birthday. Nipsey Hussle was taken from us far too soon, but today we remember him and we celebrate his legacy. We want to ensure that Nipsey Hussle's legacy will never be forgotten. Nipsey wasn't just a rapper, he was an activist, a philanthropist, a business person. He's someone who gave his heart and soul to the Crenshaw community, and that's why on his birthday, we're here to commemorate him and let Nipsey Hussle's family know he's gone, but will never be forgotten. But however, coming from a shooting last night that occurred on Florence in Crenshaw, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me that this next move had happened during that shooting. So, uh, unknown why, you know, sheriffs would shoot somebody out of their jurisdiction. Very odd because just around one o'clock, an African-American male was uh, driving down the street along with someone else. And I guess one sheriff by itself decided to pull over the vehicle in which uh, they yielded but however, the passenger exited the vehicle, allegedly pulled a gun, shot at the deputy by himself, and uh, basically was mortally wounded, shot multiple times by the deputy, uh, by himself. So when, when asked if there was body cam footage or car footage from the sheriff vehicle, the answer was no. What appears to be the upper and lower torso. LA City Fire Paramedics immediately responded and conducted life-saving efforts on the suspect. However, he was pronounced dead at the scene. A firearm was recovered at the scene, uh, matching the description and shell casings of the one that we believe was used to shoot at our deputy. And the second suspect? The sec second suspect fled the scene in a vehicle. Uh, the only information we have on the vehicle at this time is going to be a tan uh, mid-2000s model SUV. Uh, body cam footage. Uh, was the deputy wearing any body cam footage, possibly? Uh, the deputy was not equipped with any body camera, and there was no in-car uh, dash cam camera either. Okay, thank you. So again, we're taking their word against the community, and then, uh, you know, I guess an influx of sheriff patrols around this area. And given the fact that YG had his, his incident with the sheriffs, it doesn't surprise me that they would want to get in on the action of whatever this is. But um, again, I, I've stated again, since the F Donald Trump song, or the fuck Donald Trump song, these brothers have always been a target since he won the president seat. He does it with his own, and now he's doing it with the black community. He don't know the linkage to the individuals who have the bag of Trump in the hood, but obviously you follow the money, then you get the name. So again, no one's stupid, you know, no one's dumb. We pretty much know what's going on. And really at this particular time, you gotta really be spiritual to say and do the right things for your people and for the righteous people, just not just your people, but the ones who are really, really trying to find out the truth for this matter needs answers but real odd shooting and then all of a sudden this fence is up uh, in the next few hours after the shooting so you got fans coming up pretty much you know in a disarray pretty much surprised that this fence is up 
and without answers, it's definitely uh, going to turn into something towards his birthday on, uh, you know, 15th of this month. So August 15th is going to be a celebration, but at the same time, it could be an influx of police, you know, presence. So maybe that's why they have the fence up. Not sure, but it doesn't surprise me. Like again, after the shooting last night from South LA sheriffs, and we can all we can go right into Anthony Weber on that. Now we have a fence up here at the Marathon, and someone laying dead down the street. Not sure if the brothers from this area or not, but however he was ambushed. What's up, bro? All right. However, he was ambushed uh, by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's. So, more to come as we do the countdown to Nipsey Hussle's celebration and his birthday. And I'm Nash Baker. You're watching Million Hits 2019, the summer of 2019. I just want to say peace. Um, you know, there's been uh, weed dispensaries raided uh, quite often all this month. And when I say all this month, there's uh, also a crackdown with, uh, you know, the Crenshaw takeover. But however, there was a weed dispensary just raided on 81st and Western, where SWAT was obviously uh, doing a felony search warrant of two locations there. Now, some people say that, uh, you know, possibly this weed dispensary had paperwork, but obviously otherwise, you know, they were able to take out 15, 20 more people and uh, obviously put them in handcuffs. Now, my understanding, they give you a warning at first if you at the weed dispensary illegally, and then I guess you have a court date to show up, but if they catch you a second time, I believe they will arrest you and then the third time charge you with a felony. From my understanding, from what some of the witnesses were saying, how this goes, so. Apparently there's these burnout uh, locations that don't pay taxes, so, you know, LAPD can seize not only just money, but uh, the actual weed itself and put that into, you know, their evidence locker. So a lot of people investing a lot of money in these different uh, locations and end up taking a loss, but at most points, uh, if it's a give or take situation so okay and uh so we're on 65th why are we here today sir well we're here because uh on this day august 11th 2014 five years ago the los angeles police murdered 24 year old he's up toward walking on the sidewalk right over here in his own neighborhood unarmed they jumped out on him for no reason he wasn't a suspect of uh, crime at all, and uh, they ran and jumped on him. They knew who he was. They had been involved with him before that, and they were trying to send a message to the neighborhood, actually, about who, who runs this block. And they grabbed him up and pinned him face down to the sidewalk and put three bullets in him, shot him in the back, killed him. And uh, there still has been no justice. But uh, we're here to support the family and the community and let them know that no matter what this police attitude is toward this community, the community supports this neighborhood. And we're here with the uh, Ezel family and we're letting them know that regardless of the prosecutor, regardless of the department, regardless of the city, that uh, as the community, we, we're here in support. Can we get a little respect to our loved one that y'all killed? Can we get a little respect to our loved one? We're not violating nothing. We're not violating nothing. We're not violating nothing. That's disrespect to what y'all doing. Angry smiling, you killed my son. What the fuck you want to come over here for? Why you want to come over here? Why? We don't need to see you. We don't need to see you. Ticket us. Give us a ticket. It's worth the ticket. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You devil. You devil. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Satan. God bless you, Satan. Racing I 3D3, we are on. I think the 
Aurora, and uh, not too far from where the uh, Peace Riders are about to ride out. So we got about over 100 to 200 riders that's about to ride out to these scenes. We're about to get it in. Peace. So it's your boy Mason I3D. We have made it to Gonzalez Park. Uh, so, so far we got roughly over 100 or more, 200 people. A lot of the gone and never forgotten families that we've already been on uh, a lot of these shootings. That are, yeah, definitely, uh, be careful. But we got tacos here, that's what uh, Mia was saying. Uh, we definitely got uh, the families that are gone and never forgotten. We'll be honoring all year in the ride for Nipsey Hustle as the marathon continues. We just want to say to the Golden Never Forgotten East, we watch a million years 2019. Summer of 2019.